Good morning, everyone. Um, rather an interesting reading today. We'll continue with Mark's Gospel, chapter 7. There's a lot to be seen there. Um, if you're looking for somewhere to read in the Bible, I encourage you to look at Mark's Gospel. It's, it's only 16 chapters long. It's, it's not a difficult read. It's the shortest of the Gospels, but it's a good place to begin. And Mark's Gospel in chapter 7 says, um, it's, it's that interaction that Jesus had with the pagan mother who came along and said, My daughter is ill, please heal her. And Jesus, recognizing that she was a pagan, uh, his response was, It is not fair to take the children's food and to throw it to the house dogs. Uh, it's quite an insult, sort of saying, You're just a house dog. Why should I take the good food that I've got from my own people and give it to someone who has no appreciation of my rule, of, of my, the way in which we live our lives? And her response was, um, you know, Lord, rather that we eat the, the scraps than have nothing. And Jesus took that as a, a declaration of faith. And so healed, healed the girl. But it occurred to me that, you know, we, we, we're so concerned with our children when they fall ill. We're so concerned when they are not well. Uh, and many people talk about, you know, having to get up in the middle of the night and take their kids to go and see the, the doctor, go to hospital or whatever it is. They, it's important that we do that. When we make a decision to have children, we need to make sure that they're well looked after. And in terms of that, we need to also look after their spiritual welfare. One of the promises that we make at baptism is to raise our children in the faith. And one of the teachings that comes to us uh, in, in Mark's Gospel, chapter 10 now, we would, we would uh, we'd need to pay some attention to that. Jesus says, the fate of anyone who causes a child to stumble in their faith, and then he goes on, but it's not a happy one. It's not going to, um, it's, it's not what Jesus wants us to do. If we cause our children to stumble in our faith, how are we going to do that? Well, because children will do what we do. And if we, if we stumble and we don't pray and we don't go to church and, and we change our values and we make things more important, saddens me how many people say, no, no, I, my, my child can't come to Catechism or go to church or whatever it is because we are going to play soccer or we're going to play something. Those are things that we put in the way of God. I'm not saying those things are unhealthy and we shouldn't do them. I think it's important that we should, that we make sure that we find that they're not going to clash with what it is that God wants us to do, and especially in our relationship with Him. The challenge to parents, challenge to godparents, challenge to godparents especially because they've said they will help the parents and challenge to grandparents to make sure that our children are not kept away from the faith, that they are enriched. You have yourselves a wonderful day. We'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.